Hello. I'm just gonna assume I'm streaming. <laughs> Oh my god, I should have adjusted that sound. That was way too loud. Holy shit. <laughs> How's it going, Matt? Final Fantasy Tactics PR. Hmm, uh, they are working on a remake, aren't they? Or remaster, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, for some reason the sound from this emulator is very very slow, so I had to like... Uh, put the volume all the way up. But as a consequence, the intro sound is going to be really loud. Thankfully, only some people have intro sounds, so I think we'll be fine. Yeah, FFI update just dropped. Awesome. And what's in the updates? Anyway, Final Fantasy Tactics. At least now I know I'm streaming. <coughs> I'm going to reboot. Uh, I needed to reboot this project. Because I think uh, I was doing a Ramza solo shortly before uh, Army Center fixes in. I've heard that one before. <laughs> Maybe have any character was an accessory grants additional effects. But refer to the effects are ended. The effects are now automatically returned as the status restored to normal. Hmm. Yeah, let's see the fixes proper this time. I mean, they, they said last time as well, right? That the channel problem is fixed. So yeah, I think uh, I think I had started streaming Ramsa Solo shortly before uh, early to 2020, and then we had a zombie apocalypse where 0.00001 percent of the population were wiped out. And uh, we were all asked to lock down in our homes. So since then I've lost my save. So we're just going to start this again. Uh, death triggers not working in certain cases. Really? Did we notice any death triggers not working? We did? What mission not says lines under Oh interesting. We're just minor stuff, right? Dual with attack. Alright, it's time for the most important decision in this game. Uh, not this. Yes, this. Uh, can you be some cases when the is release as effective in the select monster to split before catch is carried out? A uh, different monster is caught. Isn't that an improvement? <laughs> So if you if you kill the monster you wanted to catch, you'll just catch a different monster. Actually, no, I don't think that's an improvement because in order to empty up that space, you need to release it again. A uh, different monster, monster scored. If you're trying to leave the party where monsters are caught, then they will have lost those monsters when they rejoin. Oh, that's not good. So say goodbye to those yellow dragons that you caught in uh, Exed Castle if you want to carry them forward to World Three, eh? All right, what do we want to do here? Uh, I want Ramsa to be a Libra, and I believe that is October. I believe Libra is like September 25th to October 25th, something like that. So maybe the effect of the gold hairpin that reduced consumer did not function correctly. I remember that the gold hairpin in Final Fantasy VI even works out, out of battle. And uh, I found that to be very convenient. You know, you could just uh, put the gold hairpin on, heal everybody up, and then... Uh, Remove that. I don't know if that was intentional though. 
so I've been told I don't really understand uh, this zodiac system perfectly but what I've been told is that uh, if I go with Ramsa as a Libra he will have bad compatibility with both Kafkarian and uh, Vigraf uh, and yeah, since Ramza is going to be in involved in a solo, well, this whole game is going to be a solo, but uh, since even in a casual game, uh, Ramza needs to solo Gafgarian and Vigraf, I'm going to go with bad compatibility, just so that it gives us as much time as possible. I have grown to love this theme so much. I don't even remember what happens in this cutscene. Is it just a general introduction or are they giving us a backstory of Kultana attacking uh, attacking our troops with Princess Ovelia in Orbon? There's a mission of the chicken knife. Chicken knife duping. Maybe included. How exactly do you duplicate it? Like just pick up the ch chicken knife and then reload your quick save, is it? Is that how it works? Choco book and walk over water. Quick save bar, you pick it, take a quick save, move out of the area and back, and then the cutscene will trigger again with another chicken. Oh, so the the fact that the cutscene had already played out is not stored in the quick save. I see. Mo that that must have been uh, just just some kind of a flag. It just goes to show. I I don't know what to say. Are modern games that complicated, or are just the modern devs either not interested or just uh, you know in a horrible crunch like throughout? Because crunch is a thing in the gaming industry, that's for sure. But when the remaster has more bugs than the original, that's quite sad. Very complex game, not gonna lie. Well, it's complex for a SNES. <clears throat> and suddenly the volume has decreased. What the fuck, man? Maybe I can control volume from in game. The volume for the sound effects is uh, as intended, but the background music is very low. Hopefully, it won't be a. Uh, it won't be like this in the actual battles. We're picking and fixing this bug instead of completely abandoning. If I buy mobile, I guess I guess the pixel remasters are pretty high profile.
I have to say... I think Final Fantasy Tactics was not half bad translated. Even though this is uh, technically, like objectively, the worst translation. The PSP version is beautiful. Because then I can see <laughs> cutscenes give no doubt. In fact, one of my one of my friends was asking me if uh, there's something like Project Demi available for Final Fantasy Tactics because it does get very irritating after a while. Once you once you once you once you play a game like ten or twenty times. Options, please. No, not. Okay, what can we control? Message display speed fast. Navigation message off. What about sound? Sound... Mono stereo wide. I don't like the sound. It doesn't sound different though. I don't know. None of this sounds different. Initialize setting. Alright. Uh, this battle literally means nothing. What options do we have? We do have Accumulate, hmm. I've noticed that Ramza has uh, random abilities at uh, in, in this mission. Okay, who do you want to go after? Let's go after that guy. Oops. Okay, never mind. Agress is gonna finish him off. Hopefully, the the moron chemist does not have a phoenix down. Alright, we're gonna go after those archers. Nice guarding there. Oh shit, I actually succeeded. <laughs> Those archers, when they're charging up, it looks like they're taking a, taking a dumb. <laughs> Alright, 42 damage on that guy. I think we can go for the kill. If I'm gonna get my turn. Are you guys gonna let me do something? Not that any experience matters, unfortunately. No matter what we do in Chapter 1, we're gonna start off like this in Chapter 2. Ramsa with uh, 70 Brave. I wonder what the success chance of uh, Agress's stat is. Uh, yeah, the Holy Sword is. Because it seems to be rather low. As it should be. I mean, after all, it's free. Man, Rad, Rad is really getting those darkness to succeed this mission. I don't know if darkness is bugged or it's supposed to work that way, but the only thing dark the darkness status does is it uh, doubles your enemies' evasion if they have any. So if your enemy is not wearing a shield or they don't have any innate evasion, 
That's basically a waste of time then. Well, I guess nothing in tactics is a waste of time. At at worst, you can use something to just farm uh, JP. This game is so freaking difficult that you need to rely on uh, cheeses like that. Not cheeses, cheap cheap tricks like that, hitting your own party members. Man, I sound I sound like a fine fancy two hater. I bet that's exactly what they say about FF2 as well. Oh my god, Rad got the kill! I can safely say this has never happened. It's not as if everybody dies in this mission, but uh, getting out with uh, everybody at almost full HP, that is unprecedented. Hopefully this kind of luck continues in the next mission as well, where I'm actually going to need it. The first real mission in Magic City Garyland is apparently the most difficult. But we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I won't spend all of today on that mission. That's That's my only hope. Oh no, it's time for little money. But yeah, what I was saying is that uh, I find that this game is translated surprisingly well. Now that I know what the hell is going on in the story, once I read all the dialogues again... Like sure, there are some instances where... Oh god. There are some instances where I guess uh, they just it just it just appears as if uh, they're something they're they saying saying something that is uh, way out of context. But in most instances, I feel like they got the point across. Better translate F seven. I mean, F seven wasn't bad either. What am I thinking of? Um, which game was really translated bad? Gotta be the early Final Fantasies only. Like, I was gonna say FF5, but are there really any instances in FF5 which, you know, had horrible translations? Except for the meme worthy stuff. As in French was trying to do in English. It was bad. Give me some examples. French means nothing. Yeah, now that I think about it, I really can't think of any instances. Hey, listen. All looking for the <laughs> Hello, Hunger 15. Yep, these are very late. Th these are the latest technology humanoid fonzos. And for the most part, there's gonna be no punching, but we'll see what we can do. All right, it's time for the robber to meet the road. Punching only F50. One day, one day I'll have to do a Monk SCC and that's when I will have a lot, a lot of punch. Actually, even in a Monk SCC, you're not going to have that much punching because Monk has a variety of other skills in tactics. Alright, wish me luck. Mostly we're going to be relying on Delita.
Alright, for some reason, Delita has insane speed. He always gets to go fast. Okay, so he will move there. There's nobody there right now. But uh, we'll soon have a choke point. If all goes according to plan. Alright, our first victim. That chemist can also be a major source of annoyance, but uh, that's par for the course. Surrender or die of scarcity. So I used to laugh at this line, but it's actually, actually translated pretty well. Uh, what do they say in the PSP version? Uh, lay down your swords or die clutching them. No one will mourn your passing. Beautiful, beautiful. Alright, so what do we do? Uh, if I attack this guy, Ranz Ranza is probably going to do like 30 damage or 25. And then Delita will finish him off. So, yeah. We have already got our first mortality on the enemy side. Wait, what? What do you mean 12 HP? Uh, I'm fucked. Oh, give me a break. How did you only do 12 damage? Is it because of that infamous Zodiac compatibility again? God damn it. And he's got Throw Stone. You know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna reset. No thanks. That's, that's really bad luck. I'm not going to waste my time on that. Good thing I saved. So we... Um, whether enemies have throw stone or not is... I think it's... Uh, uh, random. Oh shit. Do I have to go through the entire cutscene? Oh, thank heavens. So what I'm looking for is that no enemy should have throw stone and uh, we should be able to kill that guy who who appears right next to Delita. Because because if the chemist ends up healing even one of them, uh, I think I think we're dead. Yeah, this guy. So I'm gonna assume that we got unlucky on uh, the zodiac compatibility because their zodiac signs are also random. They have 80 instead of AP. <laughs> They do have AP as well. Oh, sorry, they have JP instead of AP. If you're making a one to one uh, comparison here. But, uh, it, but in order to actually move, uh, we need CT. So our CT is 100 right now. Okay, what is going on here? 16 damage? Okay, what do you have in guts? Only wish. Did I make a mistake? How, how is he doing such shitty damage? He's got a broadsword. Oh, it's gotta be Zodiac, man. Please kill him. 24 Okay, fuck this No, something something is terribly wrong. I'm supposed to kill that guy Did 
Did I screw myself? Maybe hard to instead of pile driver. Well, our only option right now is a uh, broadsword. So we're shit out of luck on that one. Ramza is gonna be like, I need a Vonsor instead of doing it uh, myself. But Vonsors will have to wait for like uh, 3000 years. Actually, no. This is like. This is like a medieval setting, right? So medieval setting around 1000 AD? We can't we can't go all the way back to BC now, can we? When was Latin the, the dominant language in the world? Obviously this is a completely fictitious uh, realm. But it does appear that all of them speak Latin. 8 damage on Delita, okay, that's starting to look good. I have no idea. Well, just putting the question out there. So if he did 8 damage on Delita, then Delita will probably do less damage on that guy. Okay, maybe the may, maybe the zodiac signs in the first mission are not random. I hate the fact that I ha actually have to care about these zodiac signs. Oh, finally! No, okay, never mind. Zodiac signs are not random. We are doing 24 damage now, but how much damage is Delita going to do? That's what is important. Oh, give me a break! Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this a try. But the chemist is probably going to heal him. Fucking hell. Don't think we're going to win this, but let's see how it goes. I might get some better luck in the future. Don't hit Rams. Oh, he's hitting Rams off for 20 damage. And he's going to run away. Oh, uh, not a great start. Not a great start. At least nobody has throw stone. What can we do here? Should we retreat? Maybe we should go after this uh, woman. Let's kill her first. But then Delita is gonna die. What side should I turn? I don't want to be attacked from the back. Let's just uh, face this woman. How much damage? So we are already down to 15 HP. Jeez. Okay, tell it. How much damage do you do on that guy? 24. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, we might be able to kill him at least. Oh shit! Is he gonna use a potion? Son of a. Yeah, I'm not winning this. At least let me kill this woman before I die. Just for some sense of pride. I accomplished something in this stupid mission. <coughs> He's gonna hit Delita. Okay. 15 damage. Okay. Uh, Delita is gonna get his own before us, right? Kill him. Kill him! No, he can't because uh, that guy used a potion on him. He's gonna use another potion? No! What can I do here? Should I should I wait for that dead body to rot into a crystal? I feel like I don't have much options here. This guy is using defend, so he's, he's going to be taking half damage. Not see much options, but let's just go in for the kill. Who knows? So, as I just came before Fonso 3 or after? This was before, I believe. 
Uh, Final Fantasy Tactics is 1997. And Rams is dead. Fantastic. That's game over. Wait, that's not game over? Wait, what? Why is it not game over? Because Delita can somehow revive me. Okay, Delita, do your thing. Let's see if Delita, this can be a Delita solo. <laughs> nah, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? <laughs> Yeah, we got pretty stringent conditions. That uh, chemist can't heal anybody. We can't have anyone use throw stone because that's just free damage for the other side. So it's underdeveloped rather than simplified. What do you mean? What do you mean undeveloped? This is like uh, the most complex tactics game I know. Except for chess. Well, board games don't count. And it and it and it easily has the best AI I have ever seen in a PS1 era video game. If if traditional RPGs had AI like this, we'd never be able to win. But that's primarily because uh, enemies enemies in those games are OP. Okay, 16 damage. It's just chess with people. It's a lot more complicated. It's definitely got more rules, but it also has an RPG element. Of level leveling up and stuff so it's different from chess I would say but uh, almost as interesting so from mission 3 I had to you know seek out a challenge here I find the game in its original form is plenty challenging enough incredibly challenging why does he have full HP Yo, Blind Archer! What's up? How did your Mahjong game go? Can you kill him? Six damage! Nope, not good enough. Fantasy is more like calculator with mechs. What do you mean calculator with mechs? Gain some rating. Oh! Is there like an online forum like chess.com that gives you ELO rankings? Oh, the end of explanation. Something like that, I see. What do you mean by calculator with max Congo 15? I didn't, didn't uh, get that point. X damage enemy need Y attacks of X damage to kill. Well, hmm. So you're doing a normal run? No, no, I'm doing a challenge run. I'm pretty comfortable with a normal run in this game. But uh, like I said, I find normal runs ch very challenging. What's the challenge? Rams are so low. Is it not there in the title? Have I, did I fuck up the title? Let me check. From the solo chapter one part one. Oh, so I, I can see the title. That's a challenge run. I'm just <laughs> it's all right, man. Okay, so calculator. Um, I wouldn't say that because there's, there's a huge, huge RNG involved in uh, Front Mission 3. If you get good RNG, 
uh, you can just one shot a Fonzo. You know, like Ryoko with a whole bunch of rough ups. But for the most part, even if you don't get good RNG, you can still uh, comfortably win the game, I would say. Finally! Finally we get a seed where we kill that guy on our first turn. Holy crap! Okay, this guy is gonna attack Ramsa, which is fine. So this, uh, he, he's our next victim. Uh, hopefully he does not have Phoenix Down. Okay, good. I don't think that uh, Chemist can have Phoenix Down, but you never know. Thirty-five HP. All right, but since we killed this guy first, uh, as long as they hold out for at least couple turns, and we just gotta hope he turns into a crystal because we are definitely gonna need a healing. Twenty damage on him. Good, and let's retreat. Nothing but. Oh no, he's gonna heal. Bastard. Maybe I should not have uh, hit that guy, but anyway, I just gotta, I just gotta make the best of the situation now. And I wanted to suggest you to work casually to search for all Easter eggs and secret characters, locations, and items. I think I did that. Uh, either I did that off stream. Oh no, he's coming after Ramsa. Fifteen HP. We can kill him. I think I've either done that off stream or I did that on my 95% uh, PSP playthrough. Alright, two down. And she can't hit us right now. 12 HP on deleter, okay. Let's kill that woman next. This this is starting to look good. This is deep dungeon? Yep, I did that in the PSP. Hit the woman! Yeah! We can kill her next turn. All right, all right. This this is looking good. This is looking good. Depth one. We should be able to hit her. Please do good damage. 16 HP. Yes. Nice. All we gotta do is wait for some healing now. Got Ragnarok. No, I did not get Ragnarok. We might as well kill the chemist while we're at it. Delita is going after that guy, which is fine. Even if Delita dies now, I think uh, I think I'm in a good position here. Wow, can't believe this. But yeah, what? Treasure box! Oh no. We need a crystal. Oh, do we need a crystal? Ramsar's got 17 HP left. And Delita is still alive to contribute the damage. But yeah, what I was talking about from Mission 3 is that uh, even if you don't have a lot of luck, uh, you can get through the game relatively easily. The so in the game has plus 40 attack stats, second best Excalibur 26. Plus the attack on the Ragnarok! Wow! How come I've never even heard of it? Delita is low on HP. Do, do we have to steal it from someone? I don't think so. How come I've never heard of the Ragnarok? Is it a PSP exclusive? Oh, wow. I, I believe Dash has a 50% chance of doing uh, twice the damage. Oh, we got a crystal! We got a crystal! Actually, that guy's running away. But the problem with the chemist is that he's, he'll just keep on healing himself. So we kind of need Delita, otherwise this becomes unwinnable. Uh, hey, move find have to get it. It's one of the deep dungeon. Oh, I see. Move find. Yeah, yeah. I haven't, uh, I haven't looked into move find. That I will admit. You know what, Delita? Use one of those crystals, and I'm just gonna play around with this chemist for a while. 
There's a chemistry industry look well he can't, he only has a movement of three, so I'm I'm keeping very close track on that. Did come here? Son of a bitch! I can't kill the chemist like this! Okay, okay, I think that guy's coming to steal the crystal. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? Fuck this chemist. Uh, I'll take both the crystals. I'll kill that other guy. And then I'll heal up Delita so that he can help me uh, kill this chemist. Goddamn annoying chemist. Alright, what have we got? What abilities do we have? Potion, equip, change. Crap. So, thanks for restoring. Oh, he's running away. Good. How do you run some redo to run some of the characters? Uh, to do side quests and gain loot funds. Yep. I think I'm gonna have other people go on. Uh, what is that? Propositions? Get back here, Delita! I'm leaving that other crystal uh, just in case Delita. Del just in case I want to use it after losing some HP because my plan is to use Wish on Delita. Okay, Chemist is going after the crystal, so I might as well just uh, grab it. So, I don't really know how straight I'm gonna have this challenge run. But it depends. I, I haven't done any preparation as such. Definitely not gonna have monsters, but guests are allowed, and guests are allowed to do, you know, damage and stuff. More of a test run for now? I won't say test run. I do plan to keep it Ramses Hall. I do plan to, you know... Uh, because, because obviously, a challenge like this has been done by others, so it's... So, worst comes to worst. If I, if I run into a wall, I'll just look up what I need to do and uh, do it accordingly. It's not as if there's an impossible challenge run, which I thought the uh, no weapons challenge in uh, from Mission 3 was going to be. <laughs> Ooh, can we, can we destroy this tree? No, this is not from Mission 3. <laughs> Cannot destroy trees in this game. How sad. Let's kill this guy. One of the hardest challenges for this game. Oh shit. Okay, you know what? Don't scare me like that. Let me just keep an open mind. Oh no, he's going after Delita! Definitely not. Okay, okay, thank god. <laughs> in that case, in that case, I, I'm good. I'm just looking for an excuse to play more of this game with different configurations. And I've already uh, played it a bunch, but only in a casual setting, off stream. Because uh, speedrun is done mostly solo. Yeah, but speedrun is like uh, use use uses glitches and all, doesn't it? God wish, heal up. All right, help me bash that chemist in. Is even the glitchless speedrun done solo? That's another thing, you know. I'm not really comfortable with the mathematician. And uh, what are the jobs? Alright, holy shit. I got lucky in this one. Why do they commit acts like robbery? Well, you know, you know the economic situation, right? These privileged people, I tell you. So yeah, coming back to the rules of this challenge, uh, guests are allowed, and 
I'm going to support the guess if it comes down to it. So I'm not going to be like, uh, we cannot take any help from the guests. Or at least I'll think about it. If you say this is a relatively easy one, well, at least not that difficult. Maybe I'll just step it up a notch and say that guests are not allowed, but maybe, maybe not this time. Because like I said earlier, I find this game to be difficult even in a casual setting. Alright, what do we got? We got a whole bunch of useless nobodies. I'm not going to throw them out. Uh, next mission is going to be... What is the name of that place? Uh, let's get through this cup scene first. But yeah, if, 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 if this challenge run turns out to be easy, then we'll think about what other restrictions we can put. But right now, all jobs are allowed. Uh, blade Grasp is also allowed. Although I'm thinking Blade Grasp is so OP, whether to not allow it. But then so, so is Auto Potion. Auto Potion is also OP. But at least it's got a restriction, kind of a restriction. Uh, different categories. Putting no MG, no major glitch. That one is mostly solo too. Speedrun is solo. Okay. Calculated job broken, but there are other jobs in it. Mare a solo run much easier. Make a solo run much easier. The jobs that make a solo run much easier. What could they be? Interesting. Again, I'm not really planning too far ahead. We'll just tackle each mission as they come. I know I finished chapter 1 before. But I don't really remember which jobs I used. Chapter from Mong, Auto Potion you mentioned. Auto Potion is definitely... Like, I feel like Auto Potion is mandatory. Auto Potion is more OP than Blade Grasp even. Chakra from Monk. I don't think that's that OP because you get less than a hundred HP of healing from that. Plus, you have to waste your turn. But we'll see, I guess. The Monk skills are definitely very useful. Okay. So, Mandalia Plains. We're going to meet up with Algus and. Delita is also going to be with us. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Ramza as a chemist to grind out that auto potion because now is the only time we'll get to grind some chemist JP when both Delita and Algus are in the party. Squire, he's got Yell. But do we want gain JP up first? I want more Squire JP. But gain JP up is kind of important. So we'll go with that first. Uh, what else? Probably want move plus one too. You want to find high tie cure with accumulating chakra and you can easily hit triple nine health mana. Huh, I have never seen that. So, yeah, let, let, let's see how that happens. I have never seen anybody have a uh, triple nine HP. Especially not a monk who can't even wear headgear. Monk a bit depend on your attack stat. Oh, that might be a reason. That might be a reason Chakra sucks so much in one of my... One of my playthroughs. Like, it was healing for, at best, 75. Should we learn Potion? Should we learn Phoenix Down as well? I've got three Phoenix Downs. I will buy a shit ton of Potions, though.
Squire, we need 200 GP for move this one. Did I go for accumulate? What is heal? I got from non status effects, darkness, silence, poison. Don't care. We got a better version in, in stigma magic. Yell. Do I want that? Uh, I'll. I'll. I don't have an immediate use for accumulate or yell, so I will I'll park these. For now we want move plus one for that extra movement. We already got gain GP up. So yeah, for chemist we need auto potion, that's the highest priority. Thankfully it's only 400 GP. And I had to think about move find item. I need, I need to look up the move find item list too, if you can find some uh, really good stuff. Uh, especially on maps which we cannot re revisit. Move find item might save my ass if I, if I hit a very rough patch. Alright, 39 HP, that's not good. Can we buy him some better stuff? That's the immediate question right now. I don't think so. I don't think Garyland has better stuff right now. They had clothes and nothing. Yeah. So let's just spend all of our money on potions. I can buy 90 potions. Do I need 90 potions? Probably not. I'll buy 50? How much does that cost? 2500 bucks? Yeah, I'll go for 50. Our main source of GP right now is, is just gonna be throwing potions around. And I'm gonna do that uh, liberally. I want as much GP as possible for chemist. And based off of HP always. Chakra's HP equal to the following physical attack times 5. Attack times 5. So why was it restoring 75? I had a physical attack only of 15. I was like level 45. But with that new information, I will, uh, yeah, I, I will try to calculate it. If it can heal for that much, uh, if its healing is based on attack, then which job has highest attack? Mandalia Plains, we want to start here so that we can start healing Algus right away. Monk with Jill Wheels plus Ragnarok plus Excalibur plus Accumulate. Oh, I see what you meant by Accumulate now. It accumulate raises your attack and let's let's forget about accumulate later on in the game we'll have scream so because of that higher attack he will start healing more I see so Ramza Ramza becomes an absolute beast then I see I see your point I see your point all right since I've selected not to save Algus I should get a brave boost not that it matters right now. Does the music sound weird to you guys? Okay, Algus is not gonna move. Hopefully these guys are gonna get out of the way. Music is okay? Okay, cool. So I'm just gonna let Alcus and Delita do most of the work here. I should have bought more Phoenix Towns. If either of them die, I'm dead. But my aim here is to somehow get 400 JP for Chemist. If I can get that, then uh, oh man, I'm set for life. All right, brave, yeah, brave 80, awesome. So we got a brave boost in this fight.
heck, if it turns out that I'm not getting enough JP, I'm gonna start healing the enemies as well. You know, uh, gain JP up? Yep, that's the first thing I did. Alright, awesome. Algus has blocked uh, that bottleneck. So he won't be surrounded at least. What is Delita? Oh shit, this guy's coming from this side. Most broken skill in the game. I won't say that. Because you can always grind for more JP. Oh nice, missed. Actually no, not nice. I need to heal people. Alright. Uh, okay, can still heal him. I think I have gotten Ramzar too far ahead. If Algus moves out of that position, they're gonna gang up on Ramzar. But let's see, let's see. Thankfully, most of the enemies can't really heal themselves. Unlike the last mission. What are you doing, Delita? I forgot to set up Delita! Well, I guess he's okay as a squire for now. Oh good, Algus is blocked. Nice, the thieves are actually helping me. Oh no, he's coming after Ramsa. You know what, uh, Algus is at full HP, right? Yeah, Algus is at full HP. Uh, I'm gonna run the hell away, because these guys are gonna start coming after me. Because Agus is definitely going to run away after after hitting whoever he's going to hit. So basically, one of the enemies is down. He's at critical HP and he's not going to activate himself until uh, there's only him remaining. And because because of that bottleneck, Algus Algus is standing in. Only one person can attack him, so it, it, this, this is looking really good. We need to heal Algus next. Kill him. Don't use dash! Oh my god! Why does the AI do this? Actually, why, why am I even asking that question? I know why the AI does that. Because dash is 100%. But the problem is that, even though it's rated, uh, whatever the damage is rated in dash, you don't always get that. That's my problem with it. Ramza. I think Algus can take one more hit, so let's just heal himself up. Can someone kill this guy, please? Delita? Thank you. Who's Algus going to go after now? How come Algus is doing less damage than Delita? Must be the goddamn Zodiac thing again. Not Ramza, not- oh shit. 15 damage, okay. He's also going to attack Ramza. Oh no. 15 plus 15, we can heal up all of that, thankfully. And I'm going to stay next to this guy just in case I can absorb some abilities. Getting swamped now. Can you guys do something about this? Start killing some motherfuckers. Oh, 28 damage. Holy shit. Don't use dash. You bastard! Oh, now he now dashed at 20 damage. 
All right, all right, never mind. This guy is gonna continue to come after Ramza. I guess in a way it's good. They're not doing more than 15 damage. Which we can easily heal up. Also, I need to pay attention to job levels. Actually, I also need to pay attention to these guys' HP. Oh shit, don't kill him, don't kill him! Crap, Algus is poisoned. Alright. <coughs> 23 HP, eh? Thankfully, the monster did not counter-attack. I will heal Algus. And then, I think uh, these guys these guys will be able to take care of uh, the situation here pretty easily. So, I'll go and heal that enemy up. Because I think we still need plenty of GP. Wow, are you serious? I've only got 114 JP so far. Long way to go. Yeah, we need to start healing up some enemies. Okay, monster down. That guy's still there. I think I'll start healing up enemies now. How much damage? You're only doing 15 damage. And how much damage is Delita doing? That guy's gonna die. Oh, cool. I get to absorb a crystal. What abilities do we get? Oh no, no abilities. Never mind. He's got a free heal. Let's start healing this guy up. I think he's primarily coming after Ramza. And he's only doing 15 damage, so we're fine. We can just uh, grind here for a while. Twenty damage and Algus does fifteen, so he won't die, right? Okay, good. Yeah, we can just keep doing this. Oh, smart, smart! See what he did? He's positioned. What the hell is he doing now? He positioned himself so that uh, he would be between Ramza. And this skull. So no one will be able to attack him. Very smart. Ramsar's HP is fine. He can take one more hit. But the problem is that this guy will also come and hit Ramsar. So I want to check if I can get some abilities from this crystal. Or should I just heal up? Get ability, antidote, I don't care about antidote, so just heal up. And we'll heal the enemy. Okay, hopefully Ramza saves life. I think thieves have like innate evasion or something. How come Delita only had a 75% chance of uh, hitting that guy? Hey, listen! Hey, listen! Really? Two in a row? What's up with that?
I'm back, welcome back. I'm just healing up the enemies. Just so that I can grind some JP. Because that's quintessential Final Fantasy 2. I mean, Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, yeah, we need, to, we need to heal that guy. Otherwise, he's gonna die. I keep Rams are where he is to save up some uh, CT. Right, what do we get here? A dagger. Fair enough, I can just sell that. Is he gonna die? Okay, good, good, good. He's still alive. Oh shit, now I need to heal Ramsar. I wish he didn't attack Ramsar. Well, looks like my JP farming days are over. Rogues of higher evasion, I see. Is there a way I can protect him? Maybe if I just have Ramsar stand here, Delita won't be able to attack? I mean, okay, no, no, they will be able to attack. Yeah, he's dead. Shit! Wasn't able to uh, grind JP. We, we still have one more, um, one more mission before daughter to grind auto potion. So I might as well just keep Ramza as a chemist. And uh, both of these guys are squires because we do need some squire JP. We can probably get some squire JP just by, uh, what is that, JP sharing. Represent have done base version. I see. So they have a twenty-five percent is just freely added, eh? But I guess it only only affects when you're hitting them head on, not from the side or from the back. So kinda like an innate shield. Mendolia plane. Base 25% evasion. I mean, me, uh, same thing, isn't it? Square 323 JP, what can we get? Delita. Four stone, I think, would be great for both of these guys. Algus has a long sword. Uh, he's also at level 3. Delita is at level 3. Which one of them has more attack? Not the same. Uh, Night of Space, 10% of Asian. What I meant was, uh, uh, compared to what you said earlier, they have 25% higher evasion than base. Oh, you meant 25% uh, higher as in uh, if a knight has 10%, a thief would have 20, 35%. Okay, I see. But I think I understood you correctly the first time. Because of their class, they have 25% evasion innately. And only then is anything else added on top of it. Alright, what do we want to do here? Uh, did not get auto potion. Squire, did not get any JP for Squire either. Can we get Algus and Delita or something? 180 JP for Squire. Nope, not for Algus. Delita can learn something. Throw stone, I think, uh, would be great for him, but. First one is just for grinding JP. What can I get him that would be actually useful? Move plus one? It's 200 whole box. And if I give him accumulate, I'm not sure if the AI uses accumulate uh, as much as it should. Sorry about wish. I'll give him throw stone just so that he has some range attack and it's free damage after all. Don't care about gain JP up. Seriously thinking about move plus one. Let's just give him move plus one. Extra movement for Delator. later. 
what about chemist? You can use potion already. Phoenix Town? Not enough shaping for Phoenix Town, okay. But we might as well have item on his uh, list. What about Algus? Algus already has item. And I think he's got both uh, potion and Phoenix Town. No, no Phoenix Town. Nobody has Phoenix Town, that kind of worries me. But since I'm spamming potions right now, I think we'll be fine. All right, cutscene time. Does we can buy some equipment? I'm thinking whether we could buy night equipment here. Don't really have a lot of cash. I want to spend most of my cash uh, in potions. I like to get 99 of them ASAP. Uh, can we buy high potions? Yeah, actually, I think we can. Man, I love what Algus says here. Blame the stars or something. Hey, listen. Oh, dude. Hello, Difference 86. What's up? No, he doesn't say anything. I thought I thought Algus had a very good line here. Like, uh, if if only. Oh no no no, that's much later. The line I'm thinking about is, uh, you were born to use others, just like we use you. To what? Oh my God! How could I've forgotten that? But that is such a great line. Everybody uses everybody else. It's like Ramza is spouting his stupid principles, and here is Algus trying to knock some sense into him. Unfortunately, this is a game, so the principles guy wins. But in the real world, Ramza would have a bullet in his brain so fast. Or maybe not. He was he is high bound after all. Those those people seem to be the one with ideals. At least until uh, life knocks some lessons into them. Okay, I don't think I'm going to buy any equipment here. I'd, I'd rather not waste money. Because uh, we still got a bunch of... We need to buy some stuff back in uh, Garyland as well. And I only got 2700 bucks right now. How come I don't have cash? Oh, wait, wait. I spent 2500 on potions. And I had 2,000 left and I got 700 from that last fight. Okay, okay, you know what, makes sense. Don't mind me. Also, I believe if I go back to Mandalia Plains now... Are we gonna get a cutscene or are we gonna get a random encounter? Because I want to prepare if you're gonna get a random encounter. I'm not planning to skip random encounters this time. Mithril knife, bronze helmet, linen cuirass, battle boots. Three phoenix zones, I've not used any. Uh, I still have 47 potions, really? Wait, how? How the hell do I have 47 potions? I bought 50 and I used a shit ton. Anyway, Ramsar is a 
chemist right now. I think I'll uh, convert him back to a squire just in case I get a random encounter. With the item command, uh, does he have anything else? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, what what soft does he have? Mit Mitra knife? Is that the best we can do? So now I know, right now, there's some better stuff available in Garyland. So let's just go there and buy that for the chemist. Random encounter? No random encounter. Okay. Uh, feather hat, yes please. At least I'm going to save a shit ton of money. Not going to have to buy stuff for uh, five people. <laughs> I can get behind that. Back to chemist with you. We're still grinding 400 GP. Better <laughs> let on for battle boats. He is up to 54 HP. You know what? I'm gonna buy stuff for Delita and Algus as well since I'm exclusively relying on them. And they seem to have they seem to have more innate HP than Ramza. Actually no. Yeah, yeah, Ramza is a chemist with uh, better equipment and they still have more HP than him. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, let me just buy some stuff for them. And I think both of them already have battle boats. No! Delita does not have battle boots! Shite! I should give him Ramza's battle boots then. I should also give him the Mitsuru knife. Not as if Ramza's gonna use it. Yeah, Ramza can just heal at range. This, this one is gonna be a slightly tougher fight for these guys uh, than the first one. 73 HP, almost 70 HP. Let's see how this goes. Speaky Woods. Bad, not bad. Going pretty smooth so far. But I wonder. I wonder what Daughter Trade City is gonna be like. Okay. I'm just gonna hope that Algus and Delita go in the same direction. Because most of the time, they just go in different directions. Oh, alright. Throw stone already come into play. Please, please follow him, Alcus. I get a high epic sign music of a bunch of cobos. <laughs> okay, what can we do here? Nothing. In that case, in order to save CT, I'll just wait. Alright. Goblin is going to be our first victim. Hopefully, hopefully both Delita and Algus will go after him. The problem with these monsters is that all of them counter-attack. God damn. Uh, let's heal Delita just because he is kind of uh, kind of taking some damage no matter how little. I wish potions would give you JP even if uh, you did not take any damage. 
No Algus! Bad Algus! Bad! Man, he always does that. Okay, at least Delita is following him. Okay, this, this is still fine. Why do these people... Oh, why do I keep asking why they use dash? Now that bomb is going to explode and everybody's going to take damage. Damage you guys! I don't know who to heal first. I think I'll, I'll need to prioritize Algus because he's got uh, the longsword, but he's also more reckless. Face of damage. <laughs> uh, the best is face of uh, damage chocobos. They look so sad. Is, is Algus gonna die? Okay, we need, we need to heal him stat. Thankfully, the bomb did not explode. Am I going to be able to throw a potion from here? Okay, good. Because line, line of sight is very, very finicky. I'm starting to get 18 GP per fight. Uh, yeah, per turn. He's starting to look good. On that front at least. Alright, one bomb down. Very good. I think Algus gained a level as well. So, he'll probably start doing a little bit more damage. Uh-oh, somebody's coming after Ramza now. 10 HP? Okay, fine. I'm just got about 50 HP. Definitely better than last scenario where he had uh, less than 40. But I would much rather... Oh no, why you do this? They're attacking Ramza. Retreat! Oh shit! The moment when you feel like you need auto potion, just when you're grinding auto potion. Can someone kill these guys? I don't think Ramza will survive another turn. Thankfully, there are no chocobos. No matter how far you run, those chocobos can just chase you down through the entire map. What is he doing? Okay, good, good, good. Never mind. Good decision. We're, we're getting some good AI here. So we only take damage from this guy and he's not even trying to damage us. He's just trying to poison us. Don't care. I don't know why those panthers prefer poison over just straight up damage. But maybe during this part of the game, uh, it, it's, it's, it's their AI. Job leveled up, nice. Get it, gonna get even more GP now. How's Algus looking? Hit! Algus is down to 17 HP. Uh, but I needed to heal Ramsa, so I think Algus is gonna die. I'll just use the Phoenix down. Two out three after all. Or I might not. Oh, Algus has item, I forgot! Good job, good job! It also helps to prolong the battle, getting, getting more JP. Nice! Another enemy down. Uh, let's heal up Algus. So far, so good.
Kalito still has plenty of HP. I guess nobody's bothered to atta attack him. Alright, so what now? At what point do we start healing up the enemies? Uh, maybe after one more is dead. OST is legendary. We got three, three monsters attacking three different people. How's Algus looking? I think I'll just let Algus and Delita heal themselves. But I need someone to kill this panther because he's coming after Ramzar. This is almost done with that monster. What are you doing, Delita? Oh, alright. What about throw stone yet again? Alright, I think it's time to heal up the monsters. How much JP do we need? 319, not a lot. Like five more moves or something. I hate the camera in this game. Seriously. Why can't they have like a front mission camera? Alright, who are they gonna go after? What? What? Oh. I was like, what the hell is Algus doing? Another monster down. Oh, he's not down. What could this be? This, this is probably going to be just a useless item that I don't care about. Uh, am I? F I'm too far to heal the goblin. So that's not happening. Let's just stick around here. Have the panther constantly do damage to Ramsa. Let's just hope combined Algus and uh, Delita won't do more than 30 damage to the panther. What's this item? X, X potion! Actually, that's quite useful. We're not gonna get X potions until much later in the game. Potions, I've got 38. I've got plenty of potions. Good thing I invested in them early. How much damage? 20... Oh shit, they are doing more than 30 damage. Oh god, I'm gonna be tantalizingly close to 400 JP. Can I heal him through Delito? No. Line of sight, line of sight. Line of sight shall not be violated. Oh shit, he actually got poisoned.
Oh, thanks for that antidote. <laughs> I know I'm regretting giving him the item command. How much JP left? Please tell me it's over. 385, so cool. I think this will give us enough JP now. Yep, 22 JP. Yep. We are good to go with auto potion. The thing still has 30 HP. Hopefully Alcus won't do 30 damage. Good, he only does 20 damage. We can just keep healing this guy. And Delita for some reason ran away. He's going to return for some throw stone action. So right now I'm just grinding as much JP as I can for Chemist before uh, Delita and Algus finish uh, this panther off. Heck, the panther might even be able to get to the crystal. I'm not going to complain about that. Because eventually we'll need a high potion, we'll need X potion and might even need elixir if I plan to use a mage job. Thankfully, they don't counter-attack if I use a potion on them. What? Why didn't you go after the crystal? What are you doing, Algus? I think, I think Algus is on board with the plan here. Just for us to grind some JP. 50 out of 56, might as well. Also, I've been told that uh, if you use dash, dash does not trigger a counter attack. So that's interesting. That also explains why uh, these people prefer using Dash. The AI prefers using Dash. But the problem is that Dash almost never res respects its rating. Whenever it says it's going to do like uh, 10 damage, Hathi ever actually does 10 damage. I guess the AI is allured by the possibility of Dash doing more than 10 damage. Apparently, there's a 50% chance of that. Oh, alright. We've achieved our objectives from this mission, so that's fine. I would have liked more JP, but uh, we've done a pretty good job with the chemist. Probably not gonna use it until uh, we get access to guns all the way in uh, Goog. My daughter trade city is coming up. We're done with chemist. Changing back to a squire. How much GP do you have for squire? 270. And I think the only thing I wanted was uh, move plus one, right? Did I want yell? No, I did not want yell. Yeah, definitely gonna get moved plus one. Ah, the power of JP sharing. Thanks to Delita and Algus, uh, Ramza's got over 200 JP for Squire. Without ever needing to be a Squire.
So now that we don't need to be a spy or a chemist, I think I'm gonna go with knight. What are our options right now? Knight or archer, what should we do for our daughter? We don't have a good bow right now, so I think the only option right now is knight. And when do we get iron sword? Right now we only have a long sword available to us. Let's also set up Delita and uh, Algus. Should keep them as squires. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna keep them as squires. They got a lot of abilities. So we'll go throw stone. Let's give him accumulate as well. Let's see how well he uses that. 400 GP. Let's give throw stone to Algus as well. Both of them have item. And I think I'm gonna buy another pair of battle boots. Also, a lot of Phoenix down. I mean, potions, please. Got 52. Uh, do we have better equipment? Not really. Oh, battle boots. Very good battle boots. Change Ramsar into. Actually, now that I think about it, for chapter 2, we're gonna need. Uh, how much? How much is Cheer Up? And Cheer Up is 300 JP? We're gonna need 300 extra JP for Squire, for Ramsar. So I'm gonna grind that right now. I know I said I wasn't going to plan it out, but uh, we better get Squire out of the way right now. I don't think we'll have many chances later on. Long sword, Squire, gain JP up. Guts and item please. Yeah, if I get into a random encounter, I'm gonna grind some Squire JP. Did I buy back battle boots? I think I did. So let's hand, hand the battle boots one each. Okay, I think I, I think I already got it. And I believe he's got moved this one. Yeah, okay. Oh wait, I forgot the main thing. Auto goddamn potion. Oops, I need to actually learn it first. 500 GP on chemist right now. So what else do we need from chemist? We need high potion, we need X potion. Actually, we do need high potion and X potion. I'm gonna let auto potion take care of that. So do we really need anything from the chemist? I might need move find item in case uh, there are maps uh, with some good loot but I already have 100 JP for chemist so right now I don't really need chemist at all and plus chemist can become quite powerful later on with uh, once guns become available so it's it's not like the squire auto potion can JP up move plus one yeah, I think we're good. Let's see if we actually get any random encounters though. I'm going I'm going back to Ecros to buy some knight equipment. That's gonna be my strategy for uh, for Daughter Trade City. I don't have money. Oh wait. What can I sell? A whole bunch of daggers. First, I should strip all of my useless people. Catherine, Delita, no, not Delita.
Daggers no longer required. Broadsword. I should buy a couple long swords. Uh, give one to Delita and one for Algus because uh, they're gonna be with us. They're gonna be with us in the in the mission after Daughter Trade City as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna sell off the broadswords. Leather hat can sell off all the leather hats. Okay, what all items can I sell off? I think holy water sells for a thousand bucks, yeah. When do you ever use a holy water? Soft, no, no, probably never gonna use it. Remedy, how much does that sell? Eh, uh, just, just get rid of this. I drop... Elixir only sells for 25? No wait, I drop, that's I drop. Elixir sells for 5, not even 25, alright. I think they're sending us a very clear indication here. Ether sells for 100 bucks. I'll, I'll keep hold of the ether. X potion, high potion, potion. I'm gonna need that. Auto potion is gonna need that. I should buy more flinging stones perhaps. But I've, I've been getting by with just three. So let's see how well it goes. Oops, no. I need to buy some stuff. Thank you. Couple long swords. Wow, thousand bucks. Yeah, I think that's it. Delita and Algus, they can be squires for now. But I'm thinking I'll make them knights as well, later on. Long source for everyone. He's already got it. You get a long sword, you get a long sword, everybody gets a long sword. Right. Are we gonna get a random encounter? Yes we are. First random encounter. Can we have party emojis in chat please? Oh shit. Uh which what placement is this? I just put him in the corner. Depending on how many chocobos we get in this mission, we'll decide whether I manage to win or lose. Hey, we get nice music. Is that a red chocobo? Are you fucking kidding me? No way, dude. We're not supposed to get a red chocobo right now. Oh no, that's a goblin. What am I thinking? I'm getting paranoid. So we got one chocobo, two, three panthers and a goblin. Yeah, not great. Not great at all. Can I even win this? Because the chocobo is going to keep healing himself. I'm entirely sure I can win this. How much damage do we do? Only 25 damage. Plus that piece of shit has a lot of evasion. Well, I guess we'll find out if I can actually win. No auto potion here. But it was only 12 damage, so it's fine. Chocobo's at least only doing 15 damage. Hello, where's my auto potion? That's not fair. I'm just gonna have Ramsar stand there so that we get our uh, turn quicker. Auto potion, please. Jeez. Also have a brave of 72. The problem is I can't two shot the chocobo, so he's gonna run away and heal. 
And I don't think I can do anything to chase after him. Depends on how much he's gonna heal. I desperately wanted to kill the Chocobo first. Uh oh, he's poisoned as well. Thank you, Auto Potion. Alright, alright. If I get my turn fast next time, uh, I might be able to just uh, kill this Cho Chocobo. Chocobo is going to be the main enemy here. I should have plenty of potions. Please get your turn. Yes. And just to be safe, I'm gonna I'm gonna take him from behind. Oops. Don't do wait. Nice. Strategy worked out perfectly. Now what remains to be seen is if I'm gonna survive this onslaught. All comes down to how frequently auto potion is gonna proc. I'm just gonna stand here and dish it out. Thankfully none of them are doing too much damage. Alright, who do we do the most damage to? 30... 25... 25... Okay, 30 damage it is. And it missed. And he counterattacks. Perfect. Damn asshole monsters. Why is it that every single monster has innate counterattack? I don't even know how I would be able to survive this long without auto potion. Like, look at the horde that is attacking me. Not only is auto potion OP, it is a goddamn necessity. I guess blade grass would work equally well. But who the hell has Blade Grasp at this stage in the game? Man, I'm thinking even uh, Homedo could work uh, fantastically well in a situation like this. Stop missing! Actually, it's partly my fault. I'm attacking them head on, and that's like a big no no in Final Fantasy Tactics. Oh god, now I'm worried I'm gonna run out of potions. I only bought 50 of them. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Son of a bitch! Oh my god, why are you missing? Missing 80% chances.
I'm actually genuinely worried about how many potions I'm consuming. And I'm starting to think in some of the missions, 99 potions might not be enough. They just do not like us <clears throat> being in an unpoisoned state, do they? But it does waste one of their turns, so I'm glad for that, AI. boy, I have not killed anybody other than that chocobo. Okay, hopefully that goblin is gonna run away. Because he's at critical HP. I'm banking on that. He's getting level ups. Oh no, that was uh, not Ramza. Yeah, good. The goblin's going to run away. So that's that's uh, part of the strategy here. Just get as many people into critical HP as possible. Because once they start crystallizing, it just allows the enemy more more opportunities to regain their HP. And that's the worst thing for us in our solo run. Damn it, these panthers are way too fast. Okay, nice miss, nice miss. Critical. Oh, don't miss. I'm to rely on a bit of luck here. And sadly, missing doesn't even help us on the JP front. One more hit on that panther on the right and he'll be down to critical HP as well. That'll reduce my active enemies to two. Hit him! Thank you. Alright. That's what I want to say. How much damage do we need to do to that guy now? Take one more hit and he'll be down to crit as well. Run away! Run away! 25? Yeah, he, he'll be down to crit. Ah, stop! Damn it, I hate when they counterattack. Alright, so I think uh, we've got this in the bag now. And thankfully, they're also running into in different directions. When one of them does crystallize, uh, the other will take quite a long time to reach the crystal.
Thankfully, it's catching counter attack. What's that goblin doing? The problem though is that I'm gonna have to chase these guys through the four corners of this map. <laughs> He's down to critical as well. We can start uh, killing some motherfuckers now. Why is the goblin approaching me? Uh oh. Uh oh. So looks like the when the AI detects that everybody is at critical HP, then it's like status quo, and they'll they'll start swarming on me again because they've got nothing left to lose. Okay, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Good to know. I was hoping I would just be able to deal with them one by one, but apparently not. Alright, who wants to be the next victim? You, sir! I should have faced that side. Damn it! Oh, he's just gonna poison me. Screw that guy. I just hope that this dead goblin converts into an item instead of uh, a crystal because god damn I would hate to deal with a healthy fox once again. Panther rather. Do you want to take any chances? Alright, good. Nobody turned into a crystal yet. And this guy should be dead now. Nice. Let's check out how much JP I got. If I'm getting 28 JP per turn, must be pretty high squire level now. We can just buy uh, we can just buy whatever abilities I want. Level 7. Oh my god. <laughs> He jumped from level 4 to level 7. And we got only 464 JP. Huh. I am disappointed, but I just wanted 300 JP for uh, Cheer Up in Chapter 2. So I've got what I wanted. I will keep him as a squire just in case we get into another random encounter. I will buy a shit ton more potions though. I'm down to 20. Okay, not bad, not bad. So despite the number of potions that I used in the last match, uh, I only used like 20. So that's not bad, but I will buy all the way up to 99 just so that I never have to worry about that again. How much do I have to pay? 3750. Well, I bought everything else I wanted, so I'm okay spending all of my money on potions. What about high potions? We Whoa! We cannot buy high potions right now. I did not know that. Or or is it just in Garyland? Maybe we can buy high potions elsewhere? I did not know that. Does it depend on Framsov's level level perhaps? Anyway, are we gonna get a random encounter here? Shit. Might as well. Might as well. Uh, what positioning is this? I think we'll just push Ramsa here. He's still a squire. 
best to get uh, as much Squire JP as possible right now. So, so I think we'll be able to buy Cheer Up. We'll be able to buy. We might, we might be able to buy uh, Scream in Chapter Three as well, or is is that Chapter Four? I think Scream is Chapter Four. Undead creatures. These are annoying. Maybe I should carry a good stack of Phoenix Towns to deal with those guys. Undead creatures and one solitary goblin. So, gonna try and make this quick, but these guys do have a lot of HP. damage 25 damage only my problem with these undead guys is that uh, they come back to life so that gets pretty annoying plus when they physically attack they're doing quite a bit of damage for the stage 30 damage but we've got our unbeatable auto potion This guy's actually doing more damage than Auto Potion can recover. Uh oh. Probably gonna die here. It's fine, it's fine. This random encounter was not super important. Yep. So we face our first difficulty in the solo challenge. When auto potion doesn't proc, it's game over. Alright, we get it already. Can you give me the start screen? Didn't really want a random encounter, but I'll take one. That's my philosophy for pretty much all tactics playthroughs from now on. I was very adamant about no random encounters on my first playthrough, but uh, that's not how an RPG works. Especially if you want to solo it. And who knows, all of this extra JP. We really got the same encounter, like what the hell? Oh no, this time we got two goblins. Right. Wonder how much damage these guys are gonna do now. damage with their range attacks but they do a lot of damage with their physical attacks and I wouldn't mind that but the problem is that they counter attack as well and we can't we don't have auto potion in a counter attack thank you for not counter attacking
Wow, my god, 28 damage. So every time they do physically attack like that, if auto potion does not trigger, then it's basically... It's like that, that HP I'm never recovering. Ramses down to 44 HP. I should probably take one or two turns to heal. Like manually instead of using auto potion. Because these guys hurt so much, we're gonna have to take this uh, pretty slow. Or they could do that. Wait, what? He's doing 20 damage with his ranged attack. Okay, with auto potion we gain 10 HP back. But this guy does a lot more damage with his physical attacks. Or does he? 20. Auto potion! Good. So we got 10 more HP back. So we need to rely on this, unfortunately. We can put this guy into critical. Oh yeah! And he'll just run away. I can uh, take care of the rest in the meantime. Oh good, he's using his ranged attack which is far less deadly. No auto potion this time though, might need to heal up. Because this guy's also gonna attack me. 20 damage, shit, shit, shit. Oh thank god. I wonder how much the goblins will be doing. Okay, we are up to 64 HP. Only 18 damage, that's fine. Especially if auto potion triggers. So I'm okay with that guy constantly doing 20 damage. Now two goblins are attacking me. Well this was bound to happen. At least they don't do as much damage as these guys. With their direct physical attack. Hello? Uh-oh. How much HP do I have right now? Oh no, he's physically attacking me. Thank God for that miss. Uh, 49 HP. Do I dare? Do I dare? Actually, I might as well kill this goblin. Oh, never mind. Fifteen more damage. He's down to thirty-four. If he misses one auto potion, I think we're dead. Oh, thank God! It's a god plus fifteen HP there. I'm worried about that undead creature's physical attack. He does like almost 30 damage. Oh no. I think next turn I will heal. Yeah, definitely need to heal. Random encounters are getting this close. But I guess part of the reason is that uh, the random encounters scale with your level. So if you are playing solo, look at these guys are all level 7. 
and their stats, just like Final Fantasy VIII, their stats skyrocket. Our stats, we des desperately need equipment to supplement uh, whatever base stats we've got. Yeah, look at that. 28 damage. Jesus. We're up to level 8. I think, I think I'm, I'll very quickly reach a point where uh, random encounters are going to start being unwinnable. Because if they if they start doing over 30 damage, even auto potion is not gonna save me. By that time, hopefully we'll have access to high potions. Holy crap. Let's just kill this goblin. One less annoyance. I can only do 28 damage, so we will survive no matter what. And we're just not gonna freaking auto potion, man. Alright, keep holding up, keep holding up. I'm barely managing to survive this. When will I attack him? Another potion? Okay, much appreciated. I'm gonna have to be very careful when I'm uh, going to kill that uh, undead monster. 66 HP, do I take the chance here? If he attacks me, he's gonna do 28 damage and he's gonna do 28 damage on his turn. So that's a total of 56 damage. Yeah, I think we can go ahead and attack him. We do quite a lot of damage too. All right. Okay, got an auto potion. I'm gonna have to heal up again. Might as well pick up items while we're at it. Got an ether. I don't know how expensive ethers are in this game, but I'll take a free one. Okay, how's our HP situation? We're up to 70 HP, but we're back down. 42, no, no, I need to heal. We need minimum 59 HP to survive a counter attack and an attack. Auto potion! Thank you. I think this turn, this turn we can actually attack him. Potentially. 74, yeah we can attack him. Alright, he's down to critical HP as well. So are they going to start moving towards me? Yep. I'm going to wait until he gets uh, closer. Because I don't want to give these guys a chance to uh, get back up. That's what undead creatures do. Until then, let's just keep healing ourselves. Oh, I should have faced him. He's gonna run away now.
Get back here. Okay, I think both of them are in range, but I will wait until uh, they get much closer. Alright, come here. I'll kill this guy next on. And I can kill the other guy immediately the next turn. So it will not give either of them a chance to get back up. Freaking undead. When I first found out how they operate, I was just... I was enraged. You do, you do so much work killing one of them. And then they just get to get back up. Free of charge. Oh shit, he's gonna run away. Hopefully I have enough movement. Uh, okay, barely. Might be, I might be able to. Although I have to hit him head on. What's our chances? 89? I'll take that. Alright, worked out well. Got pretty close this mission in certain areas. Plus I'm making tons of money as well. So, can never complain about that. All of my money is just going into buying potions. But since we are at Sweaky Woods, I might as well uh, go to Daughter now. Alright, so as decided, Ramsar is going to be a knight. I need to check out uh, how much JP he got for Squire. Over a thousand? Nice. Uh, what's going to be my plan for the knight? I don't really have a plan. Do I want the break skills? Actually, I do. I, I do want the break skills. I don't want any of these, but I want magic break, speed break, power break, and mind raid. So that's a total of thousand. Uh, weapon guard, I don't think it's going to be useful. Oh, my crochet brick sword. Nope. So apart from the stat break abilities, I don't really want anything to do with the knight. Right now at least. Can JP up more plus one battle skill? Yeah, okay. Longsword, Bronze Helmet, Linen, Curious. And Delita and Algus are going to remain uh, squires with the long swords. Yeah. So the plan here is, uh, once we reach Daughter... Man, the, li the knight has hardly more HP than uh, the squires. Look at that. Ridiculous. 100 HP on the knight. And he's level 9 by the way. These guys are level 4 and level 5. And they have almost as, as much HP. Unbelievable. Anyway, let's see how it goes. I've got my trusted auto potion. This is going to be the first test, isn't it? It always is in a casual run. Doesn't really matter where I place Ram Ramza, he's going to start off in the standard location because of cutscenes. Nice job, his armor, not HP. Monk is HP. Well, that's Final Fantasy V. In Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, there is no such thing as defense. There's only HP. And the knight is... Or the knight, yeah. And any other job classes who, who can wear heavy armor, the, the advantage of heavy armor is more HP. So knights and land and uh, geomancer, not geomancer, uh, samurai and uh, the dragoon. Those job classes are able to wear heavy equipment, and as a result, they get tons of HP. We don't really have the concept of defense in this game, although the protect spell does cut damage by half, uh, physical damage. But that's pretty much uh, all the defense you're gonna get. There's, there's more evasion in this game. Alright. So the major annoyance in this mission is that archer on top. I 
But our first priority, okay, Jalita. Jalita, as always, for some reason, he is fast as fuck. Do they give him throw stone actually? I think that Archer only has like a thousand HP. Uh, not thousand, what am I think? 30 HP. We need to be very careful with the black black mage here. <coughs> black mage, if he gets good compatibility with Ramsa, he can do upwards of 80 damage. Oh good, 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 good. <laughs> Archer being a moron, he's trying to stand on the on the edge of the roof. So one dash from uh, Delita or Algus will throw him off the roof. I'm hoping for that actually. Okay, Black Mage, next turn he's gonna take three more steps. One, two, three, and stand here. And is he gonna cast a spell? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh, what should I do? With Ramsar. Nobody can reach him this turn, but if I move him, I might get out of sync in terms of turn order. But let's just wait this turn. Charge plus two on. Algus, that's fine. So I'm hoping that Delita and Algus will take care of that archer for me. If not, we we have some trouble in Houston, Texas. No, sorry. Uh how do, how does that saying go? Houston, there's a problem. Uh, Ramza got his turn immediately. Okay. And the moment I make this change of face, that Ramza often has a fixed starting position. Could be, could be. But this starting position is not too bad. Uh, Ramza, Algus, uh, what's the Black Mage's name? Morris. Morris is gonna get his turn way late. What's his CT right now? So I've got 100. His CT is 82. So he's almost got his turn. If I don't move Ramsar, is he gonna? Is he going to get a bolt shoved up his ass, I wonder? He's got a speed of 6, what about Ramza? Knights, I don't think are very fast. Oh, he's got a speed of 6! Alright! In that case, what I can do is, I can lure this black mage. 1, 2, 3, uh, what's our movement range? Our movement range is... Why? Okay, it's only five. Okay, so if he's gonna come here, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Shit! I'm exactly in the right range. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to suck it up. I'm just gonna wait. Uh, if Rams is gonna. Uh, take a bolt, then that's how it's gonna be. And unfortunately, this uh, knight is also going to be blocking my way. So that's not good. That's not good. I want to kill that black mage ASAP. Oh god, he's gonna cast a spell. Yup. How much is this gonna hurt? 28, okay, that is less than I expected. Thank thankfully we've got auto potion on hand. Unfortunately that black mage is still uh, he's behind that knight. Throw stone? Oh I was hoping he'd drop off the roof. Alright, let's get started. No use dilly dallying. One more move and I could have actually reached that black mage. Do I have any benefit not moving again? What's his AT? 42. Nope. I'll just move somewhere. 
I'll move right up close to this knight and not take my turn. So I think I should have an 80 of 40 after this. No, I'll have an 80 of 20. That's still not enough to outspeed the black mage. Well, let's see how it goes. I'm gonna have to probably. Uh, I'm probably gonna have to eat up another fire. Can someone kill that guy? Come on, Alcus, dash him, dash him. Oh, never mind. You just outright kill him with the long sword. All right, now it's gonna hurt. I think it's gonna do like thirty damage. Yeah, exactly thirty damage. Thank God for auto potions right now. That stupid archer does not wait. What? He's not supposed to have a bow, is he? Oh, it's this archer that doesn't have a bow. Hopefully, Algus and Delita will take care of him as well. Ooh, ooh. Come here, Black Mage. Come here. He's charging. He's he's such a juicy target right now. Oh shit, he got his fire off. I was hoping to one shot that guy. He was charging and he would have taken extra damage. 30 damage Delita. I might just... Heck, I might just let Delita and Algus finish this off. Is he charging? Wait, is he charging? <gasps> He's charging! 32 HP, come on, we, we, can, we, can, we can one shot this guy. Yeah! Alright. Knight does do quite a bit of damage. But we'll save him for last. Our next priority is the second black mage. Hopefully we can catch him charging as well. No, he's gonna run away. Son of a bitch. Well, thankfully auto potion is saving my bacon but uh, I hate the fact that that black mage is uh, he went on top of the roof there or top of those slums and this knight is blocking my way fuck what should I do 61 HP I should heal I definitely should heal and just bide my time right now I want that black mage to come down and uh, I don't think we can catch him charging but I do want him to come down auto butcher thank you so good to see that this knight is the most damaging character in this mission uh, neither of the black mages had good compatibility with Ramza, thankfully. Oh shit! Still slightly out of range. Damn it! No auto potion that time. Not good. I think I wasted a whole bunch of time at the beginning of this mission. Just trying to outsmart the AI. Just trying to see if if I could if I did nothing, maybe my CT would uh, be in a beneficial would would allow me to catch them in the charging phase. Really? Getting some pretty bad luck here.
Oh good, the knight is no longer coming after me. Yeah, go go and kill Delita and Algus. <laughs> Look at that archer. <laughs> it looks like he's taking a thumb. Oh never mind, the black bridge is out of MP. Yeah, the black bridge is out of MP, so screw that guy now. I'm going after the archer. Fuck the leader, fuck out. Oh wait, they have an uh, item. They're gonna keep healing themselves. So this just became a very easy mission. Never mind all the bad luck I got. Alright. What are you gonna do, Algus? You know what? Maybe I should just let Algus uh, and Delita take care of this uh, mission for me, and I'll go 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 around and uh, collect the crystals. Ramza Solo has become uh, Ramza support only. They're all going after the guest characters for some reason. I'm not complaining. That cat dropped, uh, did not drop. Uh. A crystal, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and collect some crystals. Three abilities. I can't believe Algus and Delita have managed to survive so long. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Oh, he did it! No! <laughs> I was gonna get some sweet ass abilities from that. That move plus one on Delita is paying dividends right now. <laughs> Shit. I seriously cannot believe how long these people have survived. Right now that Delita has killed him, he is going to use Accumulate. So when exactly does the AI use Accumulate? When it has literally nothing else to do, huh? So it prioritizes throw stone. Yeah, it prioritizes something as trivial as throw stone before using accumulate. Even though accumulate has a strategic importance. Who's he gonna go after? He's coming after me, alright. Oh another crystal! Once again, Delita use accumulate. Okay. So I think because Accumulate is so low on the list of priorities, it's not really worth teaching it to guest character and restore HP MP. God damn it! I put in so much effort to get up here, only to find no abilities for me. Giving, giving Jolita and Algus the item command was uh, I think I think I think it turned out to be a genius move. Welp. Maybe I should have healed that guy. I wanted to collect that other crystal, but well, daughter trade city is done, so that's quite an accomplishment.
And I need to check whether some new equipment is available. I might go with Monk for the next mission. But then when exactly will I grind night abilities? No, you know what? I'm gonna stick with night. I'm gonna get all the abilities that I want in the night. But no, there's a conundrum here. So the knight is a very good job class. I mean, the monk is a good job class, but the problem is because uh, he has less less HP. He's kind of a glass cannon. There are not. I mean, we can't really use the monk in any mission that I want to. I have to use the monk in easy missions, at least at the start. I think I will go ahead and use the monk, get all the abilities that I want from monk first. Monk HP is not that low, but it's much lower than the knight. Maybe, maybe at higher levels it's not that low, but that's been my experience. Uh, maybe I'll be proved wrong, but we'll see. So we have 100 HP right now. If I change to monk. We, yeah, down to 77. So yeah, because of that uh, lack of HP, I'm gonna have to pick and choose which which missions I can use the monk in. Also, do I want Delita and Algus to stay in the squire job? They're, they're, they're doing a very admirable job, I must admit. Okay, what else can we give them? Wait, what? Wizard Shop, there might be better gear for the monk. I don't think we get better gear right now. We get a better gear after the next mission. But what I did here was a one-to-one -one comparison between the gear that we have right now for the knight and what we have for everybody else for the for the other jobs. And uh, yeah, in an in an equal comparison, monk has less HP, which is not bad. Which is not bad. I'm just saying it's less than the knight. I did not know that Algus has head break and armor break. On his basic squire job. Interesting. Anyway, I think I'm going to convert both Delita and Algus into knights. Uh, Ramza is a monk. Can we learn something from the monk? I'm going to consider a move plus one on Algus. He already has it. Did I not allocate it? Shit, I think I forgot. I think I forgot to allocate it. Shit. Well, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> move plus one would have been nice in the last mission. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, what monk abilities do we have? 121 GP. I don't think we can buy anything good. So what do I want from the monk? Uh, wave fist, earth slash, what is secret fist? Doesn't fuck that. Stigma magic, chakra, revive is useless. And I want Hamedo, yeah, Hamedo, but it's way too expensive. Counter is good. Secret fist sucks. Counter is good for random encounters. I like to give them a taste of their own fucking medicine. Martial arts. Martial arts would. Like, what use is martial arts? Just to do extra damage? Perhaps. Move HP up is useless. So we need a lot of shit from the monk job. Mato itself is 1200 bucks, but that's like. Well, that is such an OP ability that it's understandable. Price is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, the price is consummate with how OP it is. Imagine something something like Blade Grasp is only 700 GP. I, I find that hard to believe, but uh, also, also remember that Samurai, in order to unlock Samurai, you need to go through a lot of GP anyway. So I guess that makes sense. But Hamedo, 1200, that's... Uh, it's going to be low priority. I think I'll get counter first because I do have no I can't have counter and auto potion 
So either I'm gonna yeah, counter is not gonna be helpful. Alright, but that counter is only 300 JP. Let's go back to Egros and buy some uh, night equipment for Dilita and Alcus. The Clouds Desert. Daughter Trade City, do we have some, some better stuff here? Feather hat, leather outfit. Nope, we don't have any better. I will buy potions though. Holy shit. I used 39 potions in the last mission. Unbelievable. Yep, and can we buy high potions right now? Still can't buy high potions. So yeah, if I if I run into enemies which do more than 30 damage, I'm I'm fucked. So before getting into Zeklaus Desert. I'm gonna go back to Ecros to buy some night equipment. I'll have to get a random encounter along the way. Uh, we already got long swords. We, in fact, we got iron. We got a iron sword last mission, so I can give that to one of one of the guys. One bronze helmet, please, and one linen cuirass. I changed them tonight just for that extra uh, tankiness. 93 HP on Delita. Not bad, not bad. It'll also help us to get some JP uh, via JP sharing for Ramza for the night job. But he's gonna be night more often than not, so that's that's okay. But I'm gonna I'm gonna keep him as a monk as as for as many missions as I can get away with. Because as we just saw, a shield. No, I don't like the shields right now. The first shield that I really like is the mithril shield. All of the others are just I I think they fail the cost benefit analysis. That's just my opinion. And I'm definitely not. Don't want to buy a shield for the guest characters. Okay, where are we supposed to go? Okay, <laughs> got a random encounter. I think I'm I'm going to need to grind some random encounters for Monk JP. You know, it's 200 grip. What's the point of not having a shield? Money? Yep, money. I went out of the full party, so money won't be an issue. Money won't be an issue later. Right now, what I do want is to stock up on as many potions as I can. And high potions, once they become available. Thankfully, we don't have undead. or we do have undead. But we only have one of them. So this, this should be a relatively easy encounter. Yeah, yeah, as we, as we pro progress through the game, money won't be an issue. But right now, money is an issue. And like I said, I just don't think the escutcheons that are available right now uh, satisfy the cost-benefit analysis. It's like less than 10% of Asian. <laughs> 50 HP! Oh my god! Already, Monk is starting to do some damage. Meet the Monk. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Monk will never do bad damage. It's just that uh, we got we got better options as far as tankiness is concerned. Uh, my opinion. I guess we'll find out. 
No matter how many times I play Final Fantasy Tactics, there's always more and more to learn. Punch, punch, punch. Yeah! Punch, punch, punch indeed. We are back to punching stuff. I wonder where Hungo 15 went. How much HP do we have? Uh, 59. 81. No. I would like to kill that guy. Guaranteed. Alright, one down. Technicus, Monk Fisting is a league of its own. I wouldn't say that. I'd say I'd say we got uh, better, if not equal, damage options later in the game. I mean, consider Ninja for once. Okay, like Ninja is an end game job. Fair enough. But that, that's exactly my point. We do have better options. So right now, Monk is more of a trade-off between uh, tankiness and damage. But he does have plenty of uh, very, very good abilities. And self-healing. And if uh, your formula is right... Chakra is uh, attack into 5, then Chakra plus accumulate will basically give me infinite healing, provided in that particular mission I can uh, last long enough to actually set up, to actually set up Chakra. How much damage are we going to do to this guy? 60, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, this is definitely better damage than... Uh, Anything else can do right now. Plus, Monk's gonna get Wave Fist as well, so we can do damage from a range without needing to fear counter attacks. Wave Fist, uh, I think, is gonna be very useful in random encounters. Uh, no equal damage action, but physical damage classes. The only job that can compete with damage are uh, Ninja, but it's too inconsistent. I wouldn't say it's inconsistent, but it is equally as squishy as the Monk, the Ninja. So I guess the best option is to combine both of them, eh? Have a ninja with martial arts. Wahaha! Uh, 62 HP. How much attack do I have out of curiosity? So we are at about level 10 right now. Level 10, attack of 7, and further 35. Attack of 7 is not too bad, I think. Plus, uh, bare fist damage also takes in takes into account uh, the brave score, doesn't it? Uh, Dual wield on the monk with no weapons, uh, double fisting on monk on full monk damage. Dual wield on the monk with no weapons. Okay, I'll think about that. Okay, who can we kill? We can kill both of these guys, so I'll just hold off on that. Let's kill the goblin first. Actually, do I need to heal? No, I don't need to heal. Uh-oh, crystal! Shit! Should've thought about that. Goblin is easily... Uh, doing the most damage, and I might die here. Auto potion did not did not proc. Yep, dead. Oh, that sweet JP gone. Should have calculated that. Bastard was doing twenty eight damage to me. Oh, feels bad, man. But there's going to be plenty of other random encounters. I guess I guess death is just going to be something that we need to accept. <laughs> going to die a lot.
No random encounters this time. Let me just make sure everybody's set up. Knight, Knight, and Monk. Uh, figure this out. If I can buy high potion, it'll become much easier. That that's for sure. I'm just wondering when exactly do we get high potions? All right, time for Zeklaus Desert. I don't expect this to be a terribly complicated mission. What with Delita and Alcus both being uh, knights? Attack team is not yet formed. Wait, what? I have to put someone? Uh, that's not fair. This one and don't you but he'll die I don't want him to die uh, uh. you know what Catherine you're gonna be the sacrificial lamb run away that that's my strategy with my main party members <laughs> well let's see if Catherine manages to survive this mission then I will call this mission easy I have discarded every other kind of Oh you're right. You're right. That's a way I can do it. But that's no better than just letting them die. So you know what? I haven't tested that yet. I think I think that does work. I think that does work. I just I just wanted more bodies in the team uh, for propositions later on. But I guess we can work with this. The problem is... Uh, this sets a precedent now. Uh, possibly that crashes the game? I don't think so. But yeah, I guess... Uh, one of these days we'll find out. Also, the monk is fucking fast! What's his speed? Speed of 7. Holy shit, I've never got my turn first in this mission. Uh, I don't even know what to do. Just wait. What the hell are you doing, Delita? Algus obviously is gonna wreck this. Wait. Algus, what are you doing? Why didn't he go and block that uh, passage like he normally does? Does he not have a uh, move? Let's see how long Algus manages to survive. I swear, if both Delita and Algos come out of this alive, I will laugh. That, that, that would be well and truly unprecedented. Monk would throw stone, really. Alright, woman, get the hell out of there. She's got 20 HP. <laughs> So what I was going to say is my main problem with having uh, more people here is the fact that uh, uh, they might soak up damage. One shot! Jesus Christ! Might just be OP. Well, I guess uh, we'll find out when we get to dealing with the knights. Still think that monk damage as well? Dude, I told you it's good for now, but uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna judge things based on end game. Well, okay, not end game, but at least uh, chapter end of chapter two, starting chapter three. So I'm gonna hold off my judgment on that. Only goes up from here. I disagree, but we'll find out. We shall find out together, my friend. Okay, that archer is charging. Can we catch him in charging? Nope. This this is one thing where the computer is really bad at. It allows you to... Uh, <coughs> it really allows you to... Catch them during the charging phase. But I guess maybe the computer decides that uh, the extra damage and the lack of evasion 
is worth it. Personally, I have never really found a use for the charge skills. Speaking of charge, oh my god, I need some, I need some stuff from the archer. I need concentration. What is Algus gonna do? Gray is gonna heal himself, but he is definitely gonna die. But he's at least uh, holding, holding station there. And giving us uh, a good couple turns. He's giving us a good couple turns to just uh, make our way from the backside. Alright, knights incoming. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. He's charging and he's allowing me to attack. Yeah, this is. This is a complaint I have with the uh, AI in this game. Other, other than that, the AI is fantastic. Hmm, knight's gonna be annoying. And I, if, if I remember, one of the knights actually has the item command. So we need, we need, we need to kill that motherfucker. That monk hurts. Heal, heal, please. Are they gonna gang up? Oh shit, they're gonna gang up on Ranza. We, we desperately need some auto potions. And that monk is gonna be my primary target now. Holy shit. I mean, he has to be the primary target anyway. Uh, the knights have way too much HP. Stop getting your turn, Karen. I mean, Catherine. What are you doing, Delita? Attack the damn monk. Now he's gonna die. Uh, this monk has innate evade? 80%. I'll take it though. Just uh, to allow me to, you know. Uh oh. Maybe I should have moved. Ouch. So game is number forty. I know, I know. I'm just. Oh crap. Uh, that guy's gonna get a crystal, so let's prevent him from doing that. Plus, we might get some free monk skills. But I'm not healing this turn. This might cost me. Hopefully, nobody has to throw stone. Delita is gonna die. That's fine. Whatever. It, it would be hilarious if Delita goes and uses uh, Phoenix down on Algus. Smart, 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 Delita. Out, going out of range. Crystal, please. Wait. Oh my god. I came all this way just for a treasure chest. Might as well pick it up. What do we get? Let. Waste. Waste. Actually, no, not a waste. I uh, get to heal. <coughs> Since I only got a leather outfit, I should actually pay attention to uh, what these people, uh, e the equipment they are carrying. At some later stage in the game, I might even decide that the mission is safe enough to steal stuff in. Crystal. There's a crystal for the taking there. Delete it. Delete it. Indeed. Alright. I'm gonna make use of this tactic now. I'm just gonna plug this bottleneck since all of these guys are melee. 
Longsword buckler, bronze helmet, linen robe, battle skill, equip change. Okay, this guy's got nothing. This guy has the same stuff. And this guy has... Uh, interesting. None of these knights have item. I thought one of them always had item. Alright. Come at me, bro. Body damage! I barely healed that with the uh, bit and auto potion. I'm just gonna stand there. How much percentage do I get? 78 for 50 damage. That's not half bad. Oh yeah! Plus, if I'm not gonna move, I get extra CT points. Damn it, Catherine! Ow! Fucking critical hits! But I do want to chase after him if I can. Otherwise, he's going to grab the crystal. Haha! -ha. Get wrecked. Alright. You know what? I think Monk was a very good decision for this mission. Damn it, Catherine! Another treasure chest. Probably don't care about that. Well, never mind. Okay, I don't think either of these knights do anywhere near as much damage. Damn it, Catherine! Did I not tell you? She keeps asking for my attention. Antidote charge plus one. Nope. Waste. If I was only going to regain 3 HP, maybe I should have just taken those abilities, eh? Alright. This guy only does 28 damage. He's gonna run away, I think. Uh. 40 HP this guy, we can just kill him. And I'm just gonna hang around for a bit, uh, just to get some free abilities, if I can. It'll save me a ton of grinding. I need to make sure that uh, he doesn't get the crystals instead. 28, 16. Still got a bit of time. Forty five, eighty eight. Okay. So I think we will be able to grab that crystal. If, if he transforms into a crystal. I mean, apparently it's supposed to be 50-50 chance of uh, transforming into a crystal or item. But so far it seems like all I've gotten are items. Pretty unlucky. Come on, crystal! Crystal! What? How slow are these guys? 36... 96... 100. I'll just wait. Thank you very much. Look at that. Bastard. Transform into an item. What do we get? We get a buckler. Well, we were talking about shields, so I uh, get one for free here. In fact, I don't think we can even buy a blood buckler right now. So that's kind of uh, nice. Nice of him. Good donation for me. He also transformed into an item. Great. And we got a long sword. Don't really care about one. Alright, let's end this.
Level 11. All right. So far, it's not been too bad. From the solo. Oh, hey, look who it is. Bellius, uh, I mean, Weakroth. We girls have some pretty good dialogues at uh, this point of the game too. Can they say anything right now? I wonder why Elmdor is pretending to be dead right now. Or maybe he turns into a Lukavi only later in the game? I'm very unclear on that part of the story. Kidnapping wasn't our goal. We never stooped to such acts. Uh, yes, he doesn't have the power of the stone yet. When does he get the stone, by the way? You can have the Marquis, if you just let me go. Well? Okay, so I guess Elmdor is uh, not pretending. He is really injured right now. After his Duke Lark. Uh, when exactly does he meet the Duke? Oh, right now! Like, literally right now! Wasn't this... Take him there. Right, 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 right. Oh my god, I never would have guessed. These guys, these guys are plotting uh, all the stuff with the stones right now. Look at that. Learn something new every time. And not just about game mechanics. Okay. Well, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, let me just uh, make sure that I've set up for next time. Probably not gonna do anything off stream. 400 JP. What should I get first? Wave Fist? That'll allow me to avoid counter attacks. Chakra, I can get Chakra. Chakra has amazing healing. But I can heal with high potions. Hmm. I'm gonna go with Brave Fist first. So plenty of JP to go. Probably gonna ma not master. Probably gonna get level eight monk. And uh, still want more JP for monk. All right. Uh, might as well just get through the cup scenes as well. But no, we might get into random encounters. Assign two female assassins as his assistants. So much ass. I think now is when we get some better equipment. We get the red hoods. Yeah, red hood. And a leather vest. Wait, I got a... No, I got a leather outfit. The West, definitely gonna buy one. I'm definitely gonna buy a red hood for Ramza. I'm thinking what I should do for Delita. Should I keep him a knight? I think I'm gonna keep him a knight. Yeah. I'm gonna buy some better equipment for him as well. What else? What else? Battle Boats, more Mantle, Phoenix Star, High. <gasps> we get high potions! Finally! If it's equal to unlock a bit more plate armor, right? So we can buy high potions. Uh, in order to get 100 high potions, I'm gonna need. 20,000 bucks. So high potions are really pricey right now. <sighs> what should I do? Uh, 
up to 93 HP. Uh, Delita and Algos don't really matter right now. But what abilities can they learn? Do we even care? I don't. I don't really care about their knight abilities. Uh, 319 JP for Knight. I can get Magic Break, Speed Break, Power Break, Mind Break. Which one do I want? I'm planning to use the Break abilities with the Archer. And I think the most useful one is the MP Break. Where is MP Break? Uh, damage to enemies MP. Depends on weapon effects here. Okay, Magic Break is going to be the first one to be run. Alright, so even without uh, have, being the Knight class, I already got my first ability. All right. If we get, if we manage to get to a gross without getting into a random encounter, uh, we'll just check out the cutscene there. Otherwise, I'm gonna call it here. Nope. All right, guys. Take it easy. Uh, next time, then. Next time, we'll start at a gross.